The following clips brought to you by Solgene IT. You are about to hear the heroic and miraculous story of Rose, a five-year-old girl who overcomes one of the biggest obstacles life could throw at her. Right now she enjoys playing outside and exploring her backyard. She loves the movie Inside Out and her favorite character is Bing Bong. She's living the carefree life of a happy kindergartner, enjoying recess, snack time, and nap time like everybody else. However, when Rose moves on to first grade, her parents notice that she bruises very easily. She's prone to getting frequent infections, and Rose mentions that her elbows and knees hurt. And three years later, in third grade, Rose's symptoms become very apparent, occurring more frequently and with greater severity. Something is definitely wrong. Rose's world as she knew it would be completely changed as she faces what lies ahead. One morning, Rose experiences intense abdominal pain, so her parents bring her to the hospital. Their worst suspicions are confirmed, and the doctor reviews her blood test results. Rose is diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, a cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow, and is advancing aggressively in Rose's case. Rose's parents are distraught at the news, as her daughter's life is in serious jeopardy, and she's fighting through immense pain. How did this happen so quickly? How wasn't it recognized sooner? Rose's condition continues to worsen. Her white blood cells are compromised, specifically her myeloid cells, which are beginning to form tumors in her bones as these cells reside in bone marrow. Her immune system is very weak as her fighter T cells are unable to identify and remove the cancerous malformed cells. Rose's parents are by her side, with her every step of the way. It pains them greatly to see their happy Rose in such a state. But then, a spark of hope ignites, as the doctor has an idea. He's heard of promising results of clinical CAR-T therapy trials, and thinks it could be the miraculous treatment that Rose needs. Her parents are encouraged by the possibility, and they all consent to give it a shot. The first step is a process called apheresis, which separates out a component of Rose's blood and recirculates the rest. More specifically, this is called leukapheresis, because the white blood T cells are removed for special treatment. The goal is to genetically engineer these T cells into CAR T cells, capable of identifying and destroying cancer cells. CAR is short for chimeric antigen receptor, referring to the special new surface proteins that target cancer. Once this CAR T transformation is complete approximately one month later, the cells are reinfused to Rose's blood to bolster her own immune system against the cancer. This step is actually the most dangerous challenge in the treatment, as too many cells can result in a hyperimmune response, killing Rose. Her parents and the doctors monitor her response closely. How will we know if it worked, her parents wonder. They can only wait to find out. Rose experiences a high fever as her immune system ramps up its fight against the pathogens. The doctor considers giving her steroids to knock the response down, but this introduces the risk of dampening the CAR-T cells too much so that they're ineffective. Rose is a trooper, and after a few days, the pains and fever begin to subside. It appears the treatment has worked. Less than 0.1% of the cancerous blood cells remain in her body. Rose takes a few more days to regain her strength. Soon, they're able to leave the hospital, and Rose can return to her exciting life as a third grader. Thanks for watching.